All right, let's return to one of your files in the editor, and we are now going to talk about globaling and everything that is in your global window. First of all, we have two global keys, F7, which is our scan key. If you edit like I do, I use the F7 key, which will take me to all of my untranslates and as I do one, it immediately moves on to the next one. However, there are some folks that like to, gl to global one line at a time. As you move across your screen and when you get to uh, an untranslate, you want to do that. Well, you can still use F7. However, realize when you use the F7 key, once you're finished with this untranslate, it's going to skip way down here to the next one. If you don't want to do that, then use your F8 key. Every time you depress F8, it will increase the highlight to the right. So if you want to highlight to the right, it's F8. Now, you will notice that the word here, computer, is on this word list. Some people tell me that the suggest translation, they do not get a real good word list. Well, the reason is that you have not set up your phonetic table yet. Now, remember, I'm going to go out here um, to our phonetic table as soon as I can find it here. I'm a little confused myself at the moment. <laughs> ah, yes, indeedy. Phonetic editor. Oh, it's my favorite guy. Okay, if you click here for a minute, this is the phonetic table. You need to fill this area in. You need to tell your software how you write your basic keyboard and also your letter combinations. So for instance, how you do your CH words. If you don't have this on your list, every time you global a word that is a CH word, you're probably going to get a list of words that start with a K. Remember, this phonetic utility is very important if you want to get to the point where you do not have to type words in anymore. They will show up on the list. The other thing this is important for as a reminder is if you are going to do litigation support to an attorney and they cannot read steno, you need to have the words that you're writing coming out phonetically, hoping that they can read through it. So this is a very important area. Now, so back to where we were. I'm going to highlight computer. Because it's the first word on my list and it's already selected, you can click on personal, dump. What dump will do, it's like a text global for those of you that may have been on Xcribe. Text global or it will just global this particular outline just for this file and then it will get rid of the outline. It does not end up in your global holding table and it will not be applied. This will go into a job dictionary if you want it there. You have the ability to replace it once. Now, other. Let's say you don't want to put it in the job dictionary with this file. You want to put it in a different, totally different job dictionary. You have control over all of your job dictionaries. Let's say I want to put it into my captioning dictionary. Now when I click other, it will go here. So personal, dump, job, other, or replace once. Now, you also notice some of these letters are underlined. These are shortcuts. In a Windows environment, any time you see a letter underlined, that means you want to use the Alt key with it. So if I want to put it in my personal, it's Alt P. My job, Alt D. 
dump alt D yes that's the same as deleting a stroke but when you're in the global area it won't delete it it will global it and then get rid of the outline alt J or alt O alt R so I'm going to put this in my personal so I'm going to do alt P and it's done now if I'm using the F7 key as my scan key it will highlight the first stroke but then you'll use your F8 key to extend the stroke to the right if you need to extend the highlight to the left it would be shift F8 and it will pick up the word to the left you can also use these arrow keys if you care to um, I personally um, do not like to use the arrow keys I want to keep my keys you know where I'm used to and keep my hands on the keyboard but they are there for your use so I have used my F7 key it stopped here I hit my F8 key to highlight to the right the word is familiarize now if the word is not on the list here you need to just start typing please do not hit delete to delete this word it's highlighted in a Windows environment when you have something highlighted that means it will be replaced as you are typing so familiarize I'm gonna put this into my personal now notice I used F7 so what now happened was it immediately went as soon as I defined this word it immediately went to the next one again I'm going to use F8 to extend the highlight here's the word which is system and I can now place it in whatever dictionary I wish it's immediately moves on to the next one F8 to highlight the word is features for me it's right here but remember if you have to type just start typing and it will go like this all the way through here's the word menu it's the first one on my list so I'm going to use my shortcuts I'm going to keep using F8 to highlight here the word is dictionary which is the second one and again I'm going to move uh, right along the word is decide it's not on my list so I'm just going to type and place it where I want to place it um, so it just continues this way um, now let's back up for a moment let's say you have a word that translated but for some reason it translated to the wrong word you can also use F8 to redefine something so if I put my cursor in front of this word and I hit F8 again the global window opens and I can now type in what I want this word to be and it will global and change every occurrence of it okay a few other things about your global window for one thing if you type a word in and you're not sure it's spelled right you can do alt s and it will check the spelling or you can click here now what is text or steno the suggest list here that we now have and let me select a little bit different word for this the if you watch here I have it coming up to look at my suggest list based on steno my actual steno outline some people get a better list if they change it to text so my point being when you get on our system and after you have done your phonetic table and you start getting a decent list of words here play with this a little bit see where you get the best selection more often than not for me it's usually steno and so that's why I keep mine on steno instant update if I put a check mark here every time I global a word if I put it in my personal it's immediately being dumped into my personal 
or dumped into my job. There is no need then for me to apply globals later. If you're doing real time, especially, you don't want to have to go in and apply globals from a job dictionary or your personal dictionary if you were editing during real time especially if you're going to go into another job or if, if it's going, the trial is going to continue. The minute you add a word with instant update on, that word has been applied to your specific dictionary. And the next time you stroke the word, it's now going to translate. This is very nice. If you've been in this industry for any length of time, you know pretty much where you want to place your globals, whether it be your personal or a job dictionary. So don't hesitate to put this on. It saves you from having to review your global list and applying them. All right, that's all there is to globaling in our system. And in the next segment, I'm going to discuss our misstrokes dictionary with you. This is a feature I really like 